I'm Adrian Gobriel here on City News. We often bring you buyer beware stories. Tonight, we have a flyer beware story that any parent might want to hear. It begins with one mother's hopes to fly home to PEI so her newborn twins can meet their great grandmother who is ailing in the hospital. Though those plans were grounded due to a little known airline rule. She's been stalking my Facebook page, looking at every picture and video that I post, just really wanting to get our hands on these little guys. So being able to tell her that we were going to come was awesome. Tara Stomkowski's 81-year-old grandmother, who goes by Nan, was recently hospitalized in PI with pneumonia. Stomkowski, who lives just outside of Seoul in South Korea, knew what she had to do. Book a flight home for her and her three children, five-year-old Aria and three-month-old twins, Malcolm and Elise. You never know whenever you start getting up into your 80s how things are going to go down once you're in the hospital. Tara's husband, who frequently travels for work, was unable to join them. So the brave mother of three called Air Canada to ensure she was allowed to travel as a single parent with three young kids, which included newborn twins. The agent explained to me uh, that I could only have one lap baby, which I fully understand. I wouldn't want to have more than one lap baby. <laughs> and I would have to book a seat for the additional infant and as well as my five-year-old. So three seats total, four tickets. The Air Canada agent even booked the tickets for the mother and three little ones. Days later, another mother alerted Tara that she might run into an issue trying to fly alone with two babies. Again, she says she called Air Canada and was assured a second time that everything would be fine. After a ton of planning and packing, Tara arrived at Seoul's International Airport last night with her pint-sized travelers in tow. She says she waited more than an hour before some devastating news was delivered. Transport Canada rules state no passenger shall be responsible for more than one infant. It just seems so ridiculous that you could get to the point of having a boarding pass in hand after going through so many people. Air Canada issued this statement to City News saying we're so sorry we didn't get this right the first time during the booking process. We've been in contact with the family and have made arrangements to make sure they all get to see their nan as soon as possible. For Air Canada, whose expertise supposed to be transporting passengers, this should be the basics. Air passenger rights advocate Gabor Lucas agrees with the Transport Canada regulations, but believes this could have been averted if Air Canada had asked another passenger to help out with the infants. I'm sure there are many people on board a flight who had kids themselves, so they actually know what they're doing. They had babies who would be delighted to help out the mother and, uh, and simply say, yes, I'm responsible for the baby. As for Tara, she says she's still coming to terms with being told she and her kids couldn't come home to Canada. Having to make that phone call to tell my grandmother that we're going to be home, to listen to her, her voice crack and... Uh, and her trying to uh, to come up with a solution herself that uh, nobody was able to help me with at the airport at the time. Now Air Canada has refunded the tickets. They've also offered to help Tara book a new trip and pay for a second adult to fly with her. As for the Transport Canada rule, they say it exists because it's unsafe for any one adult to exit an aircraft in an emergency with two or more toddlers.